Hello everyone, this is part two, the second part to the two part series on doing the spiral pattern. So as you can see, I've got it drawn out and I've already started. I wanted to make sure of how I wanted to do this one. This time we're gonna use the teardrop. It's a fine grit, cuts all, bit, eighth inch shank, and the Fordham TX power carver. This is what uh, I wanna show you right now. Uh, we'll start on a new one is how to make this bit work for you you can do a lot of different things with this bit um, and I want to show you from start and then how I'm gonna cut the actual groove in this spiral all right so if you want to zoom in a little bit and Bodie might get in the picture here so I apologize if the video gets messed up all right so here's the start what I do is I kind of pitch it up where I'm getting more of the tip than the actual side and I started on this one on the bottom side of the line and I want to match that on the second line. So I'm going to start on the bottom of it. What I do is I, I roll this up and I just get my line started. And just kind of feather it in. And the reason why I'm working this way is because the other way, the grain, is, uh, it catches a lot more inside of the tool. See? So that's when I'm going to come back and smooth it out. So I'll show you a little bit here. I'm just gonna go ahead and work this line. I'm using my pinky as the guide for it as I rotate this. So you'll kind of see my line's not gonna be perfect, but as long as I'm staying consistent, kind of connecting all this in, then you can go back and clean it up. So yeah, second pass coming down now, I'll show you. Is you'll just start tipping it more and letting it sink down more into that track that you've already created. And that's what you, I usually have a fan on so you can see it a little bit. Better. And each time, you'll just make it a little bit wider using more and more of the, the bit surface to create the, the groove. So now you'll see I'll go a little bit flatter. And I'll just kind of use it as a sander to make that line all the same width. All the way. I'm just basically feathering it on there. I'm not putting really any pressure. I'm just using, letting the tool do its thing. Okay, so now you see how wide it is. Now, from that point, here's, here's where it starts getting really cool. You can take your bit and turn it in this direction. And I've already done some here, but I'm going to show you a new spot. So this is what I just cut here, down here. Turn your bit like this, turn it on, and you're just going to sit there and start letting it drift in the middle. Use your finger as a guide, and you're just going to start bringing the middle part of this out to the edge now once you start getting that part of the pattern in here's what's really cool about this bit <laughs> it's a little harder and maybe a little bit more of an advanced move but what i like to do is kind of turn this sideways inside of there and you see how my line's already established i'll just start making it all the same the same angle and that's what's dictating how clean and smooth that spiral is getting as I go up. So you see what it does. It, clean, it creates a super clean. And then from there, you just can keep rolling it deeper and deeper. And then you'll get to like the very middle and do it again, depending on what kind of cut you want. Um, there's several ways to do this. You can V it out holding the bit like this. I don't want to do this on this one because I want all of the the recesses in these to be very subtle, not super drastic. So on this one, I'm going to keep it just pretty clean and very shallow. But yeah, I hope this helps everybody. And if there's any questions, just feel free to ask or you want to add something, uh, definitely drop a comment. I appreciate you all.